world of God of miracles. You gave me joy and peace within, Lord. Hello, my name is Sylvester here. I am the pastor of the fireplace. I am author of a brand new book entitled Embrace Your Mess. Get ready to get your copy. So those of you who have ordered the audio, it's going to delay a little bit, but the hardcover copy and the ebook are going to be available starting next week. If you're in Kampala, Uganda, um, you can order your copy, send mobile money to Francis Kusanga. Um, his numbers are being displayed on the screen right now for Airtel and MTN. But if you're in the US and all over the world, go to Amazon. The ebook is available for pre order. Embrace your mess. And uh, uh, this is a book of the first book in a series of seven books. It's, um, it's called Take Advantage of Failure. Book two is going to be called The Other Side of America. It's going to be so powerful. Hallelujah. So the books are, we are having a launch on social media on the 10th, on the 10th of September 2021. Order your copy. I want you to know that every dollar you give in buying a book from our, our ministry, the Fireplace Ministry, is helping us to do some work in Uganda. We want to build a school, we want to build a, a small hospital, a clinic, and we want to fight cancer. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. And I had promised you that I'll tell you how I sometimes mess up things for my wife and for my family. And today, I, I, of course, I'm going to use a Bible scripture to explain what I am saying. Paul in Philippians chapter 1 verse 6 says that I am confident of this very thing that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. You know, sometimes we begin things and we are unable to finish what we begin. You, you propose to someone, you tell them you're going to marry them, and sometimes things go the wrong way and, and, and sometimes you start building a, a house and you stop at wall plate and everybody is asking what happened to this guy what happened to this guy may we finish what we begin one, one time i started something that i did not know how to finish uh, i was trying to get our baby baby sean david and uh, to take him to the daycare and i want to tell you i wake up and I am late for a critical meeting. And then I try to find Sean's shoes. He has so many pairs, but every pair I could only see one side. And I am running late. And I'm like, how am I going to finish this day? And um, I decided that since I am the father of this baby, I'm going to put different shoes on each feet. And I put yellow, on, 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 on the left and blue on the right and I take him to school saying I am his daddy I decide what I put on his feet is my son and when I give him to the teacher the, the Mzungu lady I don't wait for her to see what I have done I hand over the baby quickly and shoo, drive off and then my wife picks up the baby and when she comes home she tell me, Sylvester, the Muzungu lady, the teacher, Muzungu means a white person in my country, said you should never do such a thing. And you know what? I looked at my wife and I told her, I have been married to you for 11 years. I don't think the Muzungu said that. It is you trying to tell me that. And my wife said, if you want, we can go and ask the Muzungu. And I don't know, because I think that my wife is really putting me in a tough situation. How can I find evidence of what the Muzungu, if the Muzungu said it or not? Anyway, this is the point. God is not like Sylvester. Sylvester will mess up every day. Sylvester will put on blue socks. 
and blue on left and white on left but God is not like that the Bible says that God will finish what he has begun hallelujah God will complete what he has begun God will not stop halfway God will not pick you up to drop you God will not give you a, a destiny and you cannot fulfill it he will walk with you every mile of the way hallelujah praise the Lord it is my prayer that you embrace your mess and it is my prayer that you also subscribe to my YouTube channel but it's also my prayer that you hold on to God because God will finish what he begins God will finish what he begins hallelujah get your copy of embrace your mess and God richly bless you you can reach out to me by email uh, my phone number is also being displayed write to me let us talk because God is in the business of finishing what he has begun God bless you so much